Okay, friends, today we are going to have an awesome, amazing person lead the Power Hour. But before we get started, I want to read you just this really quick excerpt because when Karen said that she was going to lead, she goes, I'm getting out of my comfort zone and I'm leading like a diamond. And I was like, yes, that's the best. So um, if you've not read this book, it's really good. Actually, Sarah, you introduced me to Orrin Woodward and I bought like a 10 was it DVDs? Maybe it was CDs. They're so outdated now. In the very beginning of my Plexus journey, and I would listen to them in my car. And he talked about people that would show up to all the events, but never build a business. And they were the cookie eaters. Do you remember that? Okay. Okay. Um, but when Karen said that about leading like a diamond, getting out of my comfort zone, it immediately made me think about this section where he talks about what is it that makes a leader? And he said, it's hunger. And so I just want to read you this little excerpt this is for you, Karen. So it says, a leader is driven to change the status quo. A leader's not just unhappy with things as they are, he or she must also want to change them for the better. Their discontent produces an ambition or motivation to press forward and strive towards change. Some call it the will to win. John MacArthur writes, all gifted leaders seem to have an innate drive to win. Those who lack the winning instinct don't make very effective leaders. Hunger itself is one of the biggest facets of leadership. Hunger provides the energy to begin, the stamina to persist, and the will to finish an endeavor. It is the hunger or ambition that births leadership. Leadership's not determined by one's birth, as they used to think in the Middle Ages. It's not determined by your position, as many believe today. It's really just your influence and your performance and hunger is its cause. And so for Karen to say, I want to get out of my comfort zone. I want to lead like a diamond. That is being hungry. And it makes me think of Les Brown. He's like, you got to be hungry. <laughs> he says that. So I'm going to pass this over to Karen. She's going to lead us through our power hour today. And it's going to be amazing. Give her some love in the chat. Tell her all the things that she needs to hear. And let's do it. I'm going to make you host right now. Here we go. Make host. Thank you. Can you say the name of that book again or hold it up? We missed it. It's launching a leadership. Launching leadership. Revolution. Mm -hmm. um, and he's basically teaching how to master the five levels of influence. Influence is that word that always makes me nervous because it makes me think, do I have to do a lot of social media work? But it's, it's bigger than that. It's way bigger than that. Yeah. So how do I accept being a host? I didn't see a thing okay. pop up. You're already host. I don't know how I did it, but it says host by your name. So oh. here we go. Okay, good. Okay. Because I'm going to show, hi, everybody. My name is Karen Gintz, um, and I am currently a senior Ruby living in Arkansas. So um, I wanted to start, somebody had shared this in one of my threads. We are going to start with the power of visu visualization. It's just a, it's the last 10 minutes of a Mel Robbins um podcast. So I am going to share my screen. I don't know. I don't, I listened to it like when I was doing something. I'm not sure if she shows anything important, but we're going to share screen maybe. Share, and I'm going to play this. Share sound. And if y'all can't hear, let me know. Of procrastinating. Big difference. Because if it's a habit, I can teach you to use science to break it. You see, all habits have three parts. There's a trigger, and in the case of procrastination, the triggers always stress. Then there's a pattern you repeat, and in the case of procrastination, it is to avoid doing something. And then there's a reward. You get a little stress relief. The only way to break a habit, you guys, is not to deal with the triggers. You're never gonna get rid of the stress in your life but you can 100% change your pattern of avoiding work. So next time that you're in a situation where you feel yourself hesitate, you spent way too much time checking out the highlights from last night's scores, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go, oh, I must be stressed out about something. Acknowledge the stress. Then go five, four, three, two, one. I want you to count to yourself because I want you to interrupt the habit that's stored here and I want you to awaken your prefrontal cortex. Then I want you to just work, just for five minutes. The reason why I want you to only work for five minutes is because your problem isn't working. It's the habit of avoiding. I just need you to start. And here's the other cool thing. We know based on research that if we can get you to start, 
80% of you are going to keep going. Do it anyway is a mindset trick that you can use when you start to feel excuses rolling up. It works a lot like the five second rule. So you have said to yourself, okay, I'm gonna talk to my boss today about that thing that I've been avoiding talking to them about. Or maybe you've said something like, I'm gonna go to the gym today or tomorrow or whatever. And then the moment comes where you've gotta have that conversation. Or the moment comes where it's time to pack up your bag and leave your desk and go to the gym. And what always happens? You don't feel like it. I bet there are plenty of you watching that have made a commitment that, nah, I'm not gonna have a drink tonight. And then guess what happens when you get home? You don't feel like not drinking. You feel like having a drink. And so here's what do it anyway has done for me. The idea that I just do it anyway has pushed me to realize and to recognize that there are a lot of moments where there are things in my life that I really want to do. I've been getting paid $1,000 a month, if not more, just from this app on my phone. I need to do, I should do, but when the moment comes, I don't feel like it. And so I pull out this idea of, you know what, I'm just gonna do it anyway. It's raining outside. I said I would go for a, a short run. I don't feel like it. I'm gonna do it anyway. It's six o'clock in the morning. I'm tired. It's cold. I laid out my yoga clothes, but now I don't feel like it. What do I do? I do it anyway. When you start to say to yourself, I'm gonna do it anyway, what happens is something really cool. You acknowledge that there are feelings that you have that are trying to swoop in and hijack you. You acknowledge them and you basically say, guess what? I'm gonna do it anyway. The one person that is diminishing your ability to make these dreams a reality is you. Because when you state your dream, this is what happens. You state it and then all of a sudden you're present to how far away you are from it. And when you see the distance between where you are and where you want to go, the direction that your dream requires you to walk in, you're gonna get present to the gap. And that scares us. That's where fear comes into play and you start to think of all the reasons why you don't deserve it. You start to think of all the reasons why you can't do it. All that you have to do in order to start to pursue your dreams is take small actions every day that align your life in that direction. So what does that mean if you wanna play guitar professionally? It means that you start playing guitar more. It means that you sign up for open mic nights. It means that you go back to class if, if that's something that interests you. You see, your dreams will happen either because of you or in spite of you. They don't. That's the best part. So we will oops, stop sharing. Anyway, I just get so inspired by her. I thought that was awesome. Okay, so hopefully everybody has, if you don't have your winning day, you can just make a note somewhere and I will put um, the verbiage and stuff in the thread here. And then of course, I'll also put it in our bigger thread. But so with the winning day, and of course we're gonna shorten it since we only have an hour, we are going to start with getting social. So there's a couple of options. You can go through like your green light messages. And if somebody doesn't know what that is, it is when you're looking at Facebook, you can tell who's online. And I just went, I don't know if I can share a picture in the thread. I don't think I can. I just Googled Thursday morning, you know, happy Thursday morning and found a cute little graphic. And I'm just going to start sending them to my green light people um, and just say, hey, saw you're online, hope you have a fabulous day or something very simple just to kind of engage. Another thing is I am going to um, put a birthday message. I was on a call yesterday and um, one of the ladies was saying she is having amazing results with this. There's a video out there. I can't remember which diamond this is from, but this girl is having really good um responses with this. You can either do the birthday people for today or what I have found that works a little bit better is going back and seeing who recently had a birthday because that way they're not getting inundated with birthday messages or, you know, they're busy with their birthday. So you can change the verbiage to be happy belated birthday, but it's basically just hope, you know, whoops, I moved. 
Hope you have a, this one is just the birthday. Hope you have a great day filled with fun and laughter. I love to send a special sample gift to my friends for their birthday of some of my favorite health products that truly help me with a long list of issues. Shoot me your exact address, email, and cell number if you're interested in receiving one. Hope you have had a blessed and beautiful day celebrating. And I, I believe, and I don't know if Babette is on here, but um, she, I think she has signed up six people within the last, you know, two or three weeks by, she is there, good. Put in the chat how many people, oh, eight, excuse me, eight people. So this, this message is working. And then of course the follow-up is once say, say they do agree, then reach back out and say, well, so I make sure I send you the best um, samples you know, can you list what your top two to three health issues are? And then you can either get into conversation of their issues and say, you know, if you'd rather just get, I would be happy to, you know, cover shipping, you know, just, you know, continue the conversation. But I put that in her thread. So you can do just the general green light specials if you've already done your birthdays or use this. And we're going to do this for about 10 minutes. And also, I just saw, thank you, Sarah. Sarah put the link to a YouTube video that explains this whole process. So if you scroll back up just a little bit above the message idea, the YouTube is on there and you can watch that and get all of the details. Karen, a good quick reminder too. Y'all remember, if you are not seeing people that you want to see in your feeds, do a quick check. If you go and look at your own and see the top 10 bubbles at the top for stories, that's Facebook telling you who you engage with. And I would be willing to guarantee that they're all Plexus people. Um, every single week when I do this, I'm like, ah, I'm all warm and fuzzy and loving on my Plexus sidelines. Um, but that will remind you. So I try to scroll to the end and find people that, oh, I need to be checking in and engaging with them. Without fail, when we're good at doing this, I get people popping up in my DMs or commenting on my stuff when I've engaged with them. So it really does flip the algorithm to do this work.
Okay, so that was about 10 minutes. So if you have not already made a um, Facebook post or a social media post, I should say, and can y'all hear me? Okay, just make sure because I can still see Sarah <laughs> as a speaker. Um, so if you haven't already made a post, I want you to either pull up an old selfie of you with your active or go mix up an active real quick. We'll take about 10 minutes. So either do a post or a reel. And then here, there is some verbiage I'm going to put in here. You're not going to mention active by name. And we're going to focus on the benefits of nitric oxide. Because a lot of people, as someone who understands the benefits of nitric oxide, when I tell anybody about active, energy is the least thing I promote. Because there are so many unbelievable benefits of increasing your body's own production of nitric oxide. So I'm going to put the verbiage in here, and then we are going to focus on making a social media post or go make a reel. I'm challenging you to go make a reel if you haven't done a reel lately.
While I'm thinking about it, it's real important after you post or do something Plexus related within an hour, try to go back and comment on every single reply to every single comment that people have made.
All right. So the next thing we're going to do is 20 minutes of messaging. So there's some different ideas I'm going to post and I'll do both the chats. One of them is this one you need to do no matter what else you do. Message three people about the business, but be sure this is not your first time to reach out to them at all. Make sure that you've been in conversation, you know, relationship building, something. Don't just let this be your very first message, obviously. But just one idea for it is, hey, Susie, I thought about you today and wanted to offer you an opportunity to be on my team of go-getters. Goodness, friends, I mean, the cost of eggs is through the roof. Inflation is everywhere. And I have a great opportunity to build a business that fits your lifestyle. I have four spots open this quarter. Do you want to take a deeper look? And then if they say yes, then you need to find some sort of an opportunity video or a diamond documentary that they can relate to. And then when you send it to them, tell them, you know, I thought of you when I saw this so that they realize, okay, I'm going to, this isn't just, she's not sending the same thing to everybody, she or he. So it just helps personalize it. Um, so we're all going to do that either right now or at some point today. And then the other ones, I've got some messages for following up with current people who have either turned their subscription off or who are under 100 PV. Um, then another follow-up for fence, center, fence sitters and another one for new reach outs. So tons of ideas, tons of things that you can, you can pretty much message everybody you know with one of these. All right, I'm gonna put those in the chat real quick. So I put them all in one. So just make sure you separate them out and edit it and make it sound like you also.
Hey, Karen, can I say something really quick? This is Tina calling to talk to Karen again. Yes. So I'm sorry. Yes. Um, I just signed up a girl. Okay, this is how long I, I, okay. My husband and I took the juniors to camp when we were in Kansas and we took them to Colorado. I have not seen this girl lady <laughs> since she was 12. She started following me on Instagram. I don't even really focus on Instagram much. Um, I did a little live this morning in my story about moms that they need to take care of themselves because they can take care of their families better and all that. She signed up. This is my first person from Instagram. <laughs> that so, is awesome. It's, it's just so cool. I had no idea she was even following me. And it's just, it's just so cool. That's great. Thank you for sharing. That's wonderful. Okay, we've got a few more minutes on this. Karen, I did a birthday message this morning, or my birthday messages this morning, and I had a girl that was um, going to sign up, but then she told me she was on a fixed income, couldn't do it till the 3rd of March. So I have my first one for March ready to go. Awesome. And don't forget to reach so, out to her about, I'd love to help you get your products for free. Right. I've already had that conversation with her. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good, good. So anyway, just thought I'd let you know. They're Thank working. you. Uh-huh. And if you guys couldn't see, that was Babette, who is the one who signed, has signed up eight with the birthday message. I need to clarify. I did not sign up eight with the birthday message. Eight was all together this month. I've signed up like four with the birthday message, four of those eight. Oh. So, but I just started doing it this week. So, yeah. yeah. That's awesome. And somebody was asking what the birthday message, if you'll scroll up, it's already in there and it's in the uh, power power, but I will put it back in here. And Sarah shared the video that explains the whole process. So there's more than just the birthday message. You really need to, the video is amazing. And I'm resending the video too. I forget that when people join Zoom late, they don't get all the messages in the chat, which is frustrating. So I'll redo the Zoom or the YouTube, sorry. Right. So you guys can continue with those after the call. So what we're going to do now, where did I put it? 
Okay, so we are going to invite to an event. If you are not hosting a messenger chat, that's what this message is going to be for. I highly suggest you start hosting hosting messaging messenger chats or a Zoom at some point to invite people to. There are tons of other things you can invite people to. Um, of course, corporate does a lot of their things. I do know that there's um, some other calls throughout the week that Diamond's open to other people. Um, but this one here is um, specifically towards a messenger chat, but you could even, you know, if you wanted to switch it up and say um, that, you know, that you're going to invite them to something early next week. I mean, I know it's Thursday, but I do know, you know, if there was something for like the Monday night, welcome to Plexus or um, one of those, then you can always change up the verbiage. This is just an idea. And some people, um, I don't know if, how many, oh yes, real life, real stories. Okay, oh, perfect. Thank you, Jill. So um, there's a real life, real stories, and I will put the uh, graphic to that. This one specifically is not to be shared on social media. Please, please, please do not post this on social media. This one is only for private inviting. Um, it is a Thursday night. Let's see if I can do this right. Nine, eight, seven, six thirty Pacific, seven thirty Mountain, eight thirty Central, nine thirty Eastern. And um, they do two product and two um, opportunity testimonials. The same. They don't share the recording, but the recording is re-shown on Monday, and it looks as if it's live again. So you have two opportunities to invite people to those, and it's you know so every Thursday it's different. Um, yes, the Y Plexus Y now, y'all, the corporate is still doing the Y Plexus Y now, and they're amazing. So there are so many opportunities to invite your people to things if you're not ready to host your own or you don't, you know, you're like, you know, have, your upline doesn't do team calls like that. So there's tons of stuff to invite people to. And um, so we're going to spend the next, you know, probably, oh, not quite 10 minutes because we're almost done, but inviting people to something. Um, I actually am going to host my first with the, one of my team members, my first in-person sip and see since forever ago to not uh, tomorrow night. So I'm going to work on inviting people to that. Oops, my enjoy. Try to fix my typos first this time. And Karen, I'm going to grab the graphic. It's a Zoom. I'm going to grab, I guess I'll put it in the other thread. The Real Life Real Stories is a Zoom call. And it's the same Zoom ID, kind of like this one. It's the same every night.
Someone asked Babette in the chat, what is a hat party? If we have time for her to tell us about that. I was thinking she meant chat, but I could be wrong. <laughs> yeah, no, we were, I think, I think hat party. Hat. It's hat. Yeah, we were wondering, this is a new thing. We want to hear all about it. And another thing, I don't know, when I was plan working on organizing and planning this call, I didn't even think about, we need to be messaging all of our fence sitters on the fact that our a special, we have a 10% off that legit ends <laughs> on the 28th. So don't forget about that and the free collagen with the welcome pack. Um, I don't know about y'all, but that has been a huge pull to get people not to put off ordering because... I don't know if you share much about our collagen, but it is absolutely amazing. Oh, okay. So it is a hat party. Babette kept unmute. It is. They designed their own cowboy obgor and bolero hat. So I guess you could, you know, like that painting with the twist or whatever. I think, Tina, you've done something like that where she had people over to paint and sip and sample and all that. So yeah, think of some, what we're doing, we were supposed to have done it um, a couple of weeks ago, but the girl I'm hosting mine with, her uncle died suddenly. So we've put it off, but we were going to, we were doing a share the love and we're still going to do it because people, we told them to bring one of my favorite things and we're going to do a little gift exchange. So it's not just coming and sampling. So, but I love the hat idea. That's cute too. Can you um, hear me? Anyway, uh -huh. um, yeah, they just came and made their own hats and I had slim and active out for them. And that's what the drink was for the night, or they could have water. <laughs> awesome. So, yeah. Well, I guess it's about time to wrap up. Jennifer, Sarah, do y'all have anything to add? I think you're really good at this. Let's sign you up on the on a rotation. <laughs> I got so much work done. I'm so excited. I love the, the the hardcore work IPA sessions. I'm happy to anytime I can. <laughs> well, you're awesome. Um, maybe you should make me host. So I because I think I recorded it on my computer instead of the cloud on accident. So yeah, just transfer it back to me. If you know okay, how to let me. I will do my best. Okay. Or maybe it doesn't matter. I don't oh, know. Here we go. Here we go. May Coast. There you go. I was in the wrong spot. It did it. It did it. Okay. Yay. Well, happy Thursday, everybody. And of course, it looks like you've got at least a couple of tasks that you didn't finish that you could keep working on. And we'll see each other on Monday. Thanks, Karen. You're welcome. Bye-bye.